In this video, we will look at another quadratic number pattern. The first question asks us to determine the general formula of the sequence. And so we should always remember that the general formula of a quadratic sequence is Tn equals to An squared plus Bn plus C. We then take the sequence, which is 7, 4, minus 1, and minus 8, and we try work our way down to the second row. Well, technically the third row, if we think of this as the first row, second row, third row. And so remember that the difference is always the number to the right minus the number to the left. So 4 minus 7 is minus 3. Minus 1 minus 4 is minus 5. Minus 8, now remember this is minus 8 minus minus 1. So that actually becomes minus 8 plus 1 which is minus 7. Going to the next row, minus 5 minus minus 3 is minus 2. You can do all of this on the calculator if you need to. Minus 7 minus minus 5 gives you minus 2. And so we can see that our second difference is in fact constant. We said in the previous video that to work out these different, well the letters A, B and C, we use the following three numbers, and then this number seven I've already circled. There we go. And so, and then the formulas that we have will be 2a is equal to that number, 3a plus b equals that number, and a plus b plus c is equal to that number. And so now we just go ahead and solve. And in fact, what I'm gonna do for this video is I'm gonna write out those equations clearly underneath each other well, let's go one by one. So 2a is equal to minus 2, therefore a is minus 1. 3a plus b is equal to minus 3, but we now know that a is equal to minus 1, so we end up with that. And so if we have to sub, I mean, multiply the 3 and the minus 1, that gives us minus 3 plus b equals 3, sorry, minus 3. And so if we take the minus 3 over, we end up with b equals 0. Don't worry if that ever happens, it does happen quite often, where b or a or c is 0. And the last formula is a plus b plus c should equal 7, but now we know that a is minus 1, we know b is 0, and so if we solve for c, we end up with a c value of 8. Therefore the final equation for that one will be tn is minus 1 n squared, b is just 0, so I'm going to completely leave that one out, plus C, which is 8. And so that's the first question complete. Question B says which term has a value of minus 2696? So we always need to be careful of are they asking us for the position or the actual value? Here they are asking us for the actual value, and so that is the value of Tn. Whereas if they were asking us for a position, then that would be n. And so we will sub minus 2696 equals to minus n squared plus 8. Now we just realize that it's a quadratic, and so I'm going to take everything to the left, but you can definitely take things to the right as well. And so if I bring that minus n squared over, it becomes n squared minus 2696 minus 8 equals 0. And that's going to give us n squared minus 2704. And then if we want, with these kind of quadratics where the middle term is, isn't there, it usually makes things easier if we just take the 2704 back to the other side, and then we take the square root. And remember, when you take the square root, the correct way is to always say plus minus square root of 27 over 4, sorry, 2704. And when you do that on the calculator, you're going to get an answer of plus or minus 52. But then we need to remember that n cannot be a negative because n stands for position and you can't have a negative position. So therefore, n will be 52. And then the last question says, what is the value of term 83? And so they're asking you, at position 83, what is the value there? So when they're doing something like that, then the n value is 83. So you just substitute n as 83 in brackets, you plug that in on the calculator, and you would get an answer of 
term 83 will be minus 6881. So what that means is that if you are to carry on with this pattern, once you get to the 83rd term, there would be a value of minus 6881 at that point. That's the end of this short video. Thanks for watching.